Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we'll be working on a, a new project called Crab Cross the Road. So this is a similar to the Cross the Road game. Oh, I remember playing this uh, similar game when I was a kid. It's called Frogger. We basically jump over across the street, the frog, and then uh, go on to the uh, river and then get the uh, uh, get to the other side. So similarly, we will make a game here. Uh, with the crab uh, trying to cross the road without getting hit by any of this uh, car or truck to get to the cake. Uh, once you grab the cake, we'll move the uh, crab back over here and then he can go again and get it. So there's a score here and then there's a life. So once you lose all your life, the game is over. All right, let's move on. So we will be looking at this concept today making custom sprite and backdrop. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I suggest you uh, watch the other video we had uh, uh, that actually teach you how to do that. So I will put a uh, image here later on to show you guys um, that video. And uh, you so also uh, the uh, we're gonna go to use the uh, variable to control the action of the crab. So basically, if the uh, crab is uh, moving up, we have to make sure that it doesn't move uh, up when when it got hit by a car. A uh, car, right? At the stop. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. And then we're using loop and understanding the position of sprite, how we can position the sprite. Let's say for the car going left or right depending on the position you might have to change the the movements uh, move uh, by minus or plus okay uh, we'll talk about that also and then touching the sprite I think we have touched uh, we have done that many times and then pick random okay all right let's jump into the game I can show you how it actually looks like so so here's the game so so if you start up there's, um, there's all these cars running around um, and then the crab is trying to cross the road um, let me increase the sound a little bit as you can see it added some music in the back so the crab okay um, you can move up or right or left so as you can see the kick is on this side uh, I will try to get across I mean um, let's see It's a little tough, so you see, I got hit by a car. Um, did not make it. So uh, basically, you you can change your 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 your, your uh, based on how fast the uh, car is moving. As you can see, the police car kind of go real fast, and uh, the other truck, the old truck, goes a little slow. So try this one. This may be easier. I guess it's not easier. Okay. So once you hit all your life is over, then you lost. All right, let's see. Ah, it's too quick. Oh, I got it. So I got the uh, one score, which is the uh, the cake. So once you touch that, it will move the crab back over here. So as you can see, this is kind of the uh, the game how it looks like. All right. So um, let's get into it. We'll have to start a new project. Okay, before we start, uh, I would really appreciate if you guys could uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So that way it will help us a lot. And we could uh, and also suggest what kind of uh, video we should make. Is it more uh, intermediate or, or be uh, a beginner video type or more advanced video type? So, uh, all right, let's begin. So what we need to do is, so first thing we'll, we'll create some variable. So when we know that we need the life, right? We have we seen that, right? Lives. Okay. So we have a uh, number of lives the uh, the crab have, and then the score. Okay. So so far these are the two variable we need. We might need later on another another variable. So uh, what we can do is um, we are going to work on something in the background first so the background as you can see is a track right with, with a track so you have to actually draw that so you don't actually have a track here right so you have to learn how to draw that if you don't know how to do that um, uh, just try to follow along and see how I'm doing it 
and also uh, it will require you to do some kind of editing with the uh, sprite so you can also look at our other video that actually helps you okay all right so we're here so in this backdrop go to custom oh sorry um, backdrop so backdrop you see this white white so you have to draw this so uh, what we're going to do is we are going to draw a gray box around this first so let's not use any uh, outline here for this one so we'll draw the gray box as you can see scratch updated this stuff a little bit you can see that uh, this this white box is what is shown on the stage so as long as you cover that white box you're good right so so we're gonna make the roll first so what you need to do you need to feel the color right um, we're gonna change this color a little bit we're gonna make it look like gray so uh, gray is around um, where to find the color okay just like trial and error like So this looks somewhat okay. Okay, maybe like this, right? Okay, so what we can do is we're gonna fill this. So this looks like the roll. Then we have to, uh, you see, remember the roll has two uh, white line kind of go through it and then some yellow line. So we will be drawing that. Okay, so um, let me draw that line. What we can do is, what well, is uh, like a, like a white color? So you have to bring this down to zero saturation. You have to push this brightness to hundred. So this will give you kind of white color looking. We'll make this five. Uh, you can use this line, this this tool here to draw the line. And when you do draw a line, you can hold the um, the shift key. That will help you uh what you call it um, make it like a straight line so we'll draw one straight line here and then what we can do is click on this select tool again you can use the arrow key to move or you can uh, use the mouse also so we can we're going to copy and we're going to paste it again and we are moving it to this next line so we are going to make two lines just kind of eyeball it out um what it kind of look like um so next we will draw the little uh yellow uh rectangular shape um on the uh, on the roll so you have to use the box so we'll have to go back here and then take out this uh outline we will have to get the color working so let's choose the yellow color maybe something like this okay so 13 90 100 i mean it could be 14 or whatever but something like yellow All right so now you draw this little square so what we are going to do, we're going to draw it kind of at the edge here so that it shows a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is going to draw like this. Okay, so we have our first icon, right? Go back to the select tool, copy, and then we are going to paste them. Kind of eyeball it out. So making a... Uh, uh, custom sprite and uh, and things like that on scratch is a little bit harder so uh, but if you have real good artistic skill then you know shouldn't be a problem but for me I'm not that good with it so we got four now so what I did was I kind of made one then I copied two and then and then I put two to two together make four so um, 
now we have a good solid like eight so you can hold the shift key right hold the shift key and then click on these so we'll select them all just control c control v that will copy everything so as you can see um we had uh done all the the row the first set of row so uh, maybe if you want to make it uh, this one it depends okay let's move this oops don't want to select the square i'm trying to adjust this a little bit that's unfortunately there's no uh they don't actually have a tool to line up all the sprite in one row that would be good if they do so anyway we have our first stripe stripe the yellow strip we'll put the next one here somewhere down this way i think that looks okay then we'll do one more copy and paste and we put it over here okay so we have the row i mean you can adjust them later on um, when you're actually putting your cars in uh, what we need to do is we're going to draw a green patch here um, let's use a different color for now we're going to do green actually but um i oops oh uh oh I accidentally changed it, that thing. Okay, all right, let's draw a new one actually. So we are going to draw one here. That's the grass, but we're going to change the color. Uh, I'm on yellow right now, but that we, we're going to make it green. Okay. Uh, we can change the color to fill, click on the fill first and then change this color. Hmm. So I'm going 25, um, 45, and then I'll go down to 75. So I'll kind of like a darkish green. So so now I have covered everything, right? So you can see I have the green, I have the marker on the ground. Um, and then I have the, um, the, the, uh, the grass. So uh, what we can do is um, put like a patch of grass and then another patch of grass. You can do that uh, downloading like PNG online. Uh, I will be showing uh, to how you do that next. Um, all right so uh thank you for watching for now uh we'll uh, we'll create another lessons for this uh, to how to do this uh, image editing uh okay all right thank you bye bye